Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So, this is our second video for today. If you missed this morning's video, I implore you to go back and watch it. I spoke with Miss Julene Scarlett, that lady who was attacked, chopped, and seriously wounded by her 24-year-old son. Now, Miss Julene, she's almost disabled because she can't even be there herself. Please ensure that you go back and watch that video. It's about the reality that many families in Jamaica and around the world are facing. Go back and watch it. In today's journey, we are now in the parish of Sentan. Remember that we are heading to the east. Continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. In this first story, a 42-year-old taxi driver from Rose Heights in the parish of St. James. He was arrested and charged by the St. James police for sexual offenses. His name is Ricardo Gray and Ricardo, he spent his 42nd birthday in jail. His 42nd birthday was yesterday. The allegations are that on Friday night, October 27, a team of police officers they were out on patrol in the Richmond Hill area of St. James when they saw a grey Toyota Voxy parked up. The police, they approached the Voxy and they saw Ricardo and a young female in it. Both of them were naked. They were questioned and it was revealed that the female, she celebrated her 15th birthday in August of this year. After police investigations, Ricardo, he was arrested and charged for sexual touching of a child and he'll be going to the courts shortly. Question, do you plan on going to Different Strokes? Remember that Different Strokes is the big people party of the year and it's less than three weeks away. Different Strokes now have on sale groups of five tickets for $16,000 and besties tickets for seven thousand dollars buy now and save remember that different strokes it will be held on saturday november 18 at the waves beach in negril don't miss it in this next story we are learning that the operators of the lavish hq sports bar at spring village in the old Arbor area of saint catherine they securely locked up the bar and went away when they returned to open it yesterday morning they realized that it was broken into. Hoodlums, they removed the padlocks of the back door and entered. The hoodlums, they stole four gaming machine boxes valued at over half a million dollars each and a quantity of liquors. They then made good their escape. Just like that. And talking about bars, this one took place at the Trucker Bar located at Waterworks in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place last night at minutes after 9 o'clock. We are learning that the bartender, she was in the bar when a bike with two hoodlums aboard rode up and stopped. The pillion, he jumped off the bike and pulled a gun. He entered the bar and juked down the bartender. The hoodlum, he then proceeded to rob the bartender of cash and other valuables. He also took a quantity of top shelf liquor from the bar and he and his crony, they made good their escape on the said motorcycle. About two hours later, the bartender and patrons, they were at the Divas nightclub along the Belmont Road in the Bluefields Police area in the parish of Westmoreland when a motorcycle with two hoodlums aboard drove up and stopped. The pillion, he jumped off the bike, pulled a gun and pointed it at the persons at the club and threatened to kill off everybody. We are told that a man, now 
This man, he has mental issues. He held on to the hoodlum and tried to take away the gun from him. But he was not successful. He let go of the hoodlum and ran away. The hoodlum, he then pointed the gun at a lady who was there and fired two shots at her. Luckily, she was not hit. Both hoodlums, they then made good their escape on the said motorcycle. We're also getting reports that earlier today, two hoodlums and a motorcycle. They went to a gas station in the Paradise area of Westmoreland where they brandished guns and held up and robbed at least two pump attendants of cash and their cell phones. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. Now, there was a robbery in the Manig area of Sentan yesterday afternoon. Listen to this, PNL detective. Listen to this. It's a proper way to leave, you know. I don't see a tell you to go and rob you, just go and look at right, just now in a Manig Sentan. You yeah, know, right at the supermarket to go in a scheme. You yeah, know, a couple of men just pull out the car and ride from us. But like then Juke down is, is trying to in the supermarket. I want to carry a pass. Like a carry a pass, said time I slow down. So then I open my fire upon the car. But I don't sure if nobody in the car get shot, but then fire enough shot upon the car and fire up. Well, if I shot in the place. But what I say is, I be a soldier and police, they say, no, Papa, I say, a soldier camp there. Just about five minutes away from the same. And the station about the said thing. So I couldn't believe so then the man they pulled the Estonia and S here. You know? So I can also just check out man and find out about him and come. You know what you think going on, you know, Papa? Bless up yourself, said he. Boy, may I tell you. And in this next story, we are learning that late Monday night, October 30, about 10.30, two hoodlums, one of them was armed with a gun. They went to the corner clinic store on Sunshine Plaza at Church Street in Montego Bay. And for those who don't know, this store is one of the licensed marijuana dispensaries in Jamaica. The hoodlums, they joked down the persons who were in this store and proceeded to rob over 200,000 Jamaican dollars in cash. They robbed cigarettes, ganja, mushroom and vape pens. They then made good their escape. Just like that. In this next story, now, <laughs> I have some serious suspicions about this one. But I'm going to wait and see what the DNA says. We are learning that yesterday afternoon, at minutes after 12 midday, police officers from the Old Harbor Police and Marine Police Division. So, from here I said Marine Police. Boat and sea or water is involved. Acting on intelligence, they went to Manatee Bay. And for those who don't know, Manatee Bay is located between Old Arbor and Helcha in the St. Catherine area. We are told that the police, on arrival, they found two sets of human skeleton remains. They were found some distance away from the shoreline and these bodies, they were not washed up on the shoreline. The crime scene was processed and two 9mm spent shells were found on the scene. So, these two persons, they were taken to that spot where they were executed. The questions investigators are now trying to ascertain is, who are they? More to come. In this next story, a guy named Everaldo Appleton, but he was popularly known as Chrome or John. He was born on August 13, 1984, and Chrome, he used to live at Hards Lane in the South Spring area of St. James. We have made some checks and we found out that Chrome R. Jan, as he's called, he was once held by the police with an illegal gun. He went to court where the judge gave him what is called a street sentence. On Wednesday night, October 21, 2020, over three years ago, about some minutes after 8 o'clock, John, he was shot and seriously wounded at his gate at Hars Lane in the South Spring area. It is said that John, he was walking when he was attacked. 
He spent some time in hospital, but he survived. He was released. And the information we are getting is that John, he had gone to live in the Paradise area in Montego Bay. Well, for whatever reasons, hoodlums wanted John. Yesterday afternoon, about 5.30, John, he was on Union Street. And from all indication, a phone call run. We are told that two hoodlums, they drove up in a motor car and they parked the car somewhere along the road. They both got out of the car and one of them went to look towards the Bay West area to ensure that there was no police. He then went across the road and sat on a wall. The other hoodlum, he then went into a shop and ordered something. As he came out of the shop, he pulled a gun and opened gunfire at Jan who was standing outside, hitting him in his head and his upper body. Jan, he fell to the ground and that was it for him. We are told that the two hoodlums, they made good their escape in another waiting motor car. John, he ended up dying on the spot. The police, they were called and when they processed this crime scene, five 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, do you remember that man on your screen? You don't? Well... That man, his name is Devon Hendricks, but he was popularly known as Shaba, and he was 47 years old on Friday night, August 4, last year, when he and his good friend, Ellie, were attacked, robbed and killed at Spring Gardens in the parish of Westmoreland. Another man who was said to be of unsound mind was also killed. Shaba, he was known to be a very hard-working fisherman who was never involved in any criminality. But when the news broke, videos were being circulated with Shaba and Ellie being killed. And the narrative was that they had gone into the area to steal bikes. The hoodlums who killed Shaba, Ellie and the other man, they made sure they coined that narrative. Now, at the time, I was the only person on any media, whether social or otherwise, who was saying nothing no go so. It was when Senior Superintendent of Police, Wayne Josephs, the man who is in charge of Westmoreland, it was when he came out and said it, others started to agree. To date, none of Shaba, Ellie or the other man's killers have been brought to justice. Shaba's family, once again, they are in mourning. That man on your screen. His name is Devon Hendricks Jr., but he was popularly known as Cruz. Cruz, he was born on July 14, 1994. Cruz, he was a houseman and he was gainfully employed to the Hedonism 2 Hotel in Negril and he's from Salt Spring District in the Green Island area but he was living at St. Simon in the Lucy area of Hanover. If you have not yet figured it out, Cruz is Shaba's son. We have not come across anything to say that Cruz was involved in any hoodlum activities. We are told that for Cruz, it was all about Work and girls. Got it? In fact, we are told that Cruz, he was married to a black American female who he had met at work and the petition had gone through. Cruz, he was making plans to migrate to the USA shortly, but someone had other plans. Early this morning, about minutes after 12 midnight, Cruz, he was in his 2008 
Great Toyota Alien Motor Car in the St. Simon area near to where he's living when a barrage of gunshots were heard. The police, they were called and when they went and made checks. Cruz, he was seen lying face down on the side of the road in a pool of blood. He had multiple gunshot wounds to his head and his body. Cruz Toyota Alien, it was seen with multiple bullet holes. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, 20, 2, 0, 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Jamaica, criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica's mash up Jamaica. 